my name is Natasha Barbley. Currently I'm a senior in aerospace engineering. I'm from Thomasville, Georgia and I like to swim and hang out with my friends and just have fun when I can. My major is aerospace engineering. I chose aerospace engineering because I find that it's really fascinating and it's always exciting and when I was younger I, you know, I grew up with those movies, all those space movies, even Star Wars, all of them and I really enjoy um, flight in general. Currently in aerospace engineering, I research aeroacoustics, so that's basically the sound that aircraft make and I basically try to reduce it and find out what's actually happening and why it happens. I first got interested in research while interning at NASA Ames, which is in California. It's Moffett Field, California, right in Silicon Valley. And from there, I was ignited with the, you know, with research, and I thought it was really fascinating. And I ran back to school, and I really wanted to get involved and continue doing it because it was so much fun. All of the places where I research at fit together because at NASA I work on rotorcraft aeroacoustics, which carries over to Georgia Tech, where I work with Dr. Sankar on the PSU wall pop code. And then also I do experimental work at NASA Ames, where here at GTRI I'm able to do experimental experimental um, uh, experiments by myself and um, with the help of Dr. Ahuja. While I'm at NASA, I, I was able to work in the 40 by 8 foot wind tunnel where they test large scale rotors and that was really cool. Um, back at um, Georgia Tech, I work on the PSU op up code, which is a code that's able to predict the noise that helicopters make. And then here at GTRI, I was able to conduct my own experiments all by myself with the help of Dr. Ahujo, which I found was really fascinating and a lot of fun. It's important because noise, first of all, for a military aircraft, it's important to save our troops when they're in danger and when they're in war because that's how they're detected and we need to make sure that they're not detected. And then also in everyday life, um, when noise is loud, it harms, the animals don't want to be around and they start migrating other places, maybe where the food or the habitats aren't as, um, aren't as, um, aren't as good and that can really just harm the environment by killing animals and making them upset. Um, what I got out of my undergrad research was understanding the fundamentals and finding what I love and what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I think that's really important and I'm very thankful that I was able to find that just as an undergrad. Um, I really feel like the teachers at Georgia Tech really push you to do good work and they push you to publish papers and really understand what's going on. They're, they're developing you and they want you to be a great engineer in the future. And I find it very untrue that just undergrads are not worth it. They can do a lot of things. Um, I, as an undergrad, conducted my own experiment here at GTRI and I find that's really, really fascinating and really fun. And um, I, think that's, I think that's a lie. I think undergrads have a lot, and they have a lot to um, tell the world and to help people out, too. Yes, um, I published two papers, one of which I um, helped find the acoustic reflections in the 40 by 8 foot wind tunnel at NASA Ames in California. And then the other one was on the Boeing Smart Rotor, which was also at NASA Ames. Um, it felt really wonderful, but I can't, um, I would not have received the award if it weren't for Dr. Huja and Dr. Sankar and all my mentors at NASA because they're what really kept on pushing me and really stood by me even when like days were rough and even when it wasn't maybe my, my best days of work or my, my brain wasn't on. So that was very, I was very thankful for that, but it's because everyone who helped me get there. Behind me.
me is an anacorp chamber that um, I made from scratch with mostly the help of um, high school students and also some of the staff here at GTRI. Um, basically what an anacorp chamber is is that it doesn't have acoustic reflections or partially doesn't have acoustic reflections all the way. But um, I also, with this facility, I calibrated to make sure there weren't any um, reflections inside of it. So now, since it's all calibrated, I could perform multiple tests in there. I wouldn't necessarily test a jet engine, but for example, uh, last semester I tested a microphone probe, which is basically a, um, a, a small um, diameter um, probe, tube, um, connected to a microphone. And what this did was um, I wanted to see how the noise affected every time I cut down that microphone probe to finally to figure out what the transfer function is of when I had the probe on and when I had the probe off. So basically, um, it's a testing facility because inside of it you can place whatever you want. Um, for example, last semester I tested a microphone probe, which is basically a mi microphone with a little tube, a thin small tube um, diameter radius on it, yeah, and you that you stick inside of the chamber. And basically I wanted to find out what the effects of this little tube was on the microphone and off. And this was a great place where I could test it and there weren't reflections coming off the walls. Basically, it's really, really quiet, and when you talk, you don't hear an echo, and you don't hear any reflections off the walls at all. Um, it's important because we want to understand the noise that, whatever your source may be, what's happening at it, so we can make corrections and maybe just find some more interesting information about it. It's important to study the sound sources from whatever source it may be because it really allows you to understand the property of the source. And by doing that, you can find out a lot of different things. You can find out uh, when, what happens, and what different things that you apply to that source, what's going to happen. There's a lot of different things. So it's basically just getting a better understanding of what's happening. And then maybe you can go back and try to um, change something or rearrange something or fix your source to to behave how you want it. Well, you can find out um, from doing multiple tests, you can find different stuff that can help you in other fields. I mean, the space program, they, um, what was one of the, the things that they came up with? The, the Velcro. They figured out Velcro. I don't think they were necessarily on the, the, the loose for that, but from testing here, I can find out other interesting things that may help in other fields, not just aerospace. While I was at NASA Ames in Moffettville, California, I worked in the 40 by 8 fit wind tunnel. And basically, it was a, it's a large, huge wind tunnel. And personally, I got to work on the, the Boeing Smart Rotor, which is a full-scale rotor in this huge wind tunnel, which was really interesting. And I got a paper from that as the third author. And then there's actually some corruption in the data. So my second paper was on identifying that corruption and also repredict, repredicting it through a code called PSU WAPUP, which predicts the noise that helicopters make. <laughs>